Good day, Don Toot for Engineering TV, talking to Michael DeRoy at EPC. That we have before us on the table, Michael, a number of demos. Can you run through them for us? Hi, Don. Thank you very much. I'll be glad to uh, run through them for you. What we have here is EPC's latest wireless demonstration kits based on the A4WP standard. Here we have the EPC 9113, and over here we have the EPC 9114. The EPC 9113 is a class 3 coil with an amplifier that runs in the zero voltage switching class D in differential mode and includes the pre-regulator with all the necessary controls to control the coil to the A4WP standard. In this setup it will regulate the current, the power and then of course the maximum voltage that this amplifier is capable of. So all the systems are built onto the single board. In the case of the EPC 9114, we have all the same systems except this is designed for lower power and only uses a single ended version of the Class D amplifier. Let me turn it on so I can demonstrate it to you. It runs off a regular 19 volt laptop power supply and as you can see here the system is powered up and is delivering power to these category 3 device loads. In this case I have a converter that uses the, uh, the power coming from the device board which is unregulated and creates a stable 5 volt USB power source. Over here I have a USB power meter which is then connected to an iPhone. I can turn it on and you can see there that the phone is turned on and starting to charge and here I can select the button to show how much power is going into the phone for charging purposes. On this side I've got a second load and I can turn on the second device and you can see here the one is at much higher charge, the one is at lower charge, the system has no problem handling it. So one of the advantages of this is that you can charge so many devices at once. Do people really want to do that? What are some examples where this is practical? Uh, where this is practical is right here on this table we can have these systems embedded in a conference room table where folks can power up their computers without all the cables all across the table. Another example is we can install this into, the, uh, into an automotive vehicle uh, in the center console or even the doors and you can power your phone or charge your other devices in the car without having to plug it in. Another example could be at your local coffee shop where you can be sitting enjoying your coffee and instead of trying to find that elusive outlet, you can have in the table where you're enjoying your coffee, you can just simply put your phone down or, or your laptop computer and it will be powered there. And uh, finally, also in hotel rooms, you can have on the bedside table where you always struggle to find a power outlet, you can just merely put down your device on the bedside table and it will start to charge. That's always a problem for me. Yeah. yeah. Here we have an automobile application of wireless power with, uh, provided by our partners here with Gill Electronics. In this center console has been a, a wireless power coil installed here and another one up, up here. Allow me to demonstrate using a simple LED light. In this case we use the LED light to show that it is receiving power from the coil set. And then of course from the other one up here. Imagine if you're, you're driving along and your cell phone runs out of battery and it starts to beep you that it's running out of battery. Uh, this is a safety issue because now you don't have to worry about plugging it in into the uh, uh, cigarette lighter of your car. You can uh, allow have multiple uh, devices plugged in. You can just simply drop your phone in here or if it's installed even into the cup holder or up here where it's easy for you to do so. This system is based on the A4WP standard. This sounds exciting. Is there a way to get more information than just this short video? Yes, uh, we can direct you to our website at uh, www.epc-co.com. We also have recently published a book on wireless power which explains all the various standards and how to design systems and various amplifiers to the A4WP standard and also the new uh, multi-mode uh, systems that we're looking into is all in this book and it's available at DigiKey.